Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Being the Odds. It is Friday, April 14th, 2023, and we are back with our NBA best bets of the day. If you're new to the channel, my name is Zach, and welcome to Being the Odds. Hit that subscribe button, like this video, hit notification bell so you never miss a pick. We post NBA videos every single day, along with the NHL and MLB. We went 4-1 in the NHL yesterday. We're on 9-3. We're on the MLB, so definitely check those out. We're going after our first 6,000 subscribers, so I'm really excited to have you all here. Let's go win together today. Let's go make some money. So to recap yesterday's results, we didn't have any games to bet on yesterday. However, on Wednesday we did. I got to be transparent. Obviously, I'm not going to sweep it on the rug. We went 0-2. Um, we had the Pelicans minus 5.5. They just shit the bed. I didn't know, no one knew CJ had a torn labrum and a shooting shoulder. I mean, that's a big deal. That's a huge deal. For those guys who have never had a torn labrum before, I mean, that, that will destroy your ability to use that arm. So tough one there. And then the Raptors minus 6. We added them for our members and on Twitter. 19 missed free throws. 19 missed free throws, and they lost by four. If they make half those, we cover. If they make just, if they make half those free throws, we cover. And I don't think it's really crazy to ask a professional basketball team to make more than 50% of their freaking free throws when they make a combined $200 million per year. Absolutely atrocious. They should be ashamed of themselves. Well, Zach, DeMar DeRozan's daughter was screaming. They are professional basketball players. This is ridiculous. A 10-year-old girl should not do that. And by the way, good for her. Like, she should do that. But, like, a 10-year-old girl should not rattle a group of grown men that much. An absolutely embarrassing performance. Their season ended Thank God they're done. I can't stand that team. Bulls, they don't deserve the win, but I will say I'm really happy the Raptors are dead because I'm so sick of that team. So we went 0-2 yesterday. Not great, but overall we're 246 and 201 for the season so far. There's two playing games today. We got two bets today. Um, I'll start with our best bet of the day. Before I get to the bets, if we can make you guys money in the NBA, MLB, NHL, college basketball this year, consider becoming a member at zdmbets.com slash picks. That website is linked in the comments below. Um, as a member, you support the channel and you support me, but more importantly, um, you get to you get our picks early in the day, way before these videos come out. That way you can take advantage of line movements, get better odds. Also, all of our add-on picks are texted straight to your phone so you never miss those. And on top of that, any game that we don't cover, you can reach out to. Uh, you can reach out to us and ask about it. Ask about any game that we have not covered. You'll get my opinion on it. You guys send about an hour and a half for game time, so I actually like look at the. So I can actually look at the game and like make an educated decision there. Um, but and then, like I said, the website is linked in the comments below. But let's get into the bets today. So we have two bets today. I'll start with my favorite bet of the day, which is the Heat minus five and a half versus the Bulls. The theme of today is redemption. Miami could not have played worse against the Hawks. Looking back on it, it was a pretty bad matchup for Miami, given the circumstances, but it's weird because Miami, before the Hawks, they won 10 of their last 11. Just a weird thing. But Miami deserved to lose that game. They were terrible. But Miami has played very well against the Bulls this year. The Bulls are a much better matchup for Miami than the Hawks are because they don't have the same size that the Hawks do. Um, and what I'll also tell you is this, is that DeMar DeRozan's daughter will not be there at the game. Um, but like, like the thing is, is that the Raptors are beating the Bulls by 19 points. They missed 19 free throws, turned the ball over like crazy in the fourth quarter, and forgot how to play basketball for basically 15 full game minutes. The Raptors did. The Bulls don't deserve to be here. Now, they do deserve to be here because the Raptors were so bad, but Miami is a much better team than the Bulls. And here's the thing. Miami is not going to miss 13 free throws. Oh, not, not 13 free throws. 13 layups they did against the Hawks. And for the rap and for the Bulls, they're not going. Miami's not going to miss 19 free throws. It's just not going to happen. Um, they're a very solid free throw shooting team. That being said, the Bulls will be lucky this time. Miami's going to bounce back. Jimmy's going to play way better. They're going to get Bam way more involved. Hero's not going to be a no show. And hope to, and I hope to God Kyle Lowry's on our best offensive player because if he is again, that's going to be a problem. But I like the Heat here minus five and a half. Book gets my best bet of the day. Next bet of the day is the Timberwolves minus five and a half versus the Oklahoma City Thunder. So OKC they played great against uh, the Pelicans. However, no one knew that CJ had a torn labrum. Zion and Jose Alvarado weren't playing. And B.I., he played well. Like he, he, he did play well. However, here's the thing. The Timberwolves should not even be playing in this game. They should have beaten the Lakers outright. If they remembered how to even play a lick of offense in the fourth quarter, which was a total brick fest. But, Zach, it was, it was the smothering Lakers defense. No, it wasn't. It was, it was a team that forgot how to make a basket. That is what the Timberwolves were at the end of that game. That's, that's what it was. It was one of the worst 15 minutes of game time I've ever watched in any, whether it was pro college or even high school ball uh, between the Timberwolves and the Lakers. Um, and I'll tell you this right now. The T-Wolves play better without go better. They play way better at home. Anthony Edwards is not going to score nine points in this game. He's going to dominate. Um, and, I, and I just don't think Oklahoma City has it in the tank to beat this Timberwolves team. Oklahoma City is a covering machine, by the way. 
when they're on the road. I just don't think it's going to happen this time. Tim Wolves bounce back. They win by six or more. Um, Cat's been playing great. Anthony Edwards will bounce back. Mike Conley's playing well. And hopefully they have Jaden McDaniels back today. Um, so a quick recap what we have. We have the Heat minus five and a half as our best bet. We also have the Timberwolves minus five and a half versus the Thunder. I actually really like that one too. That could also be labeled the best bet. Um, and we might be adding a game or two later as far as like a total, maybe a player prop, that sort of thing. Check my Twitter for updates for that. And if you're if you're a member, you'll get those texts to you. So you don't have to worry about any of that. So let's go lock in those picks, y'all. Let's go win together today. Let's go make some money. I will see you all tomorrow. Make sure I'll check out those other videos.